Um, make sure I got this right. Um, cadmium orange, yellow green. Color yellow green with a touch of cadmium orange. So, mm. all, right, all right, so did I get the orange? No, right, thanks. Need orange, I've got plenty. If you need yellow, I've got plenty. Okay, so here we go. We're going to take some orange. No, I don't need that much actually. Some yellow. Mix those suckers together. A touch of green in there just to kind of tone it down if I can get the skin off it. Okay, there you go. See how that muted the color down? Just kills the intensity of it. That should be plenty. Okay. So just gonna water my brush, take the surplus water out, just load my brush up, okay, and just gonna stab it. And then basically all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and suggest thieves. And I'm gonna have them here, there, and everywhere. And I need to be looking from a random point of view just stippling it these will be off in the background now that might be too intense i'm thinking that might be too intense so i'll be back can't do that with watercolor you can do it with a crick so okay for those of you at home I just basically wash the canvas off real quick. So I'm going to try and take a bit more green. That might be a little too much. There you go, that's better. Because you've got to consider the light source. That's better. It can't be that bright and orange with this sort of light source. I'm turning and twisting my brush. Let it basically paint itself. These are just little leaves off in the distance. Just a suggestion of color. Okay. Turn and twist your brush if you want random. Off in the distance here, I have a bunch. Try not to make it too big. Off in the distance, just little faint taps. The closer you get, then obviously the more intense they'll be, maybe bigger. Oops. It's okay, I'll cover that up there. So off in the distance here, I've got a little bit of paint on my brush, not much. And I'm just very, very lightly tickling and suggesting, tickling the canvas, suggesting that there's color back there. Too strong just tap it down okay and I like that because they're basically getting the same height there indicating that there's trees kind of a tree line back there but otherwise you don't want those lines you want it to be random okay any questions are we only doing the tops of the trees for now I mean, this is a process you've got to put one thing at a time and then we'll come back and we'll put different colors in and other things on top of this. So just go ahead and get this stage done first. Okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you.